What's up everybody? Today we're actually going to be going over some protein. You may have noticed protein powder going around the interwebs here lately. Some of your bigger YouTubers like Christian Guzman, Max Tuning, they've been using this protein powder. They've actually uh, are sponsored by this protein powder. So this is their new protein powder. They just brought out white chocolate peppermint almond bark. Now I haven't tasted it yet. I did open it. I did mix it up and everything in this trusty cyclone shaker which you guys not, have not seen the video for this. Make sure to go back and watch this. This is a, an older video, but still cups live up to their the hype. So as far as I can tell, without even opening it so far, it smells great. I mixed it with eight ounces of milk because I mix most of my protein powders with milk. I don't like mix, mixing them with water because it just it dilutes it and I think it tastes watery because you're mixing it with water. So I like some volume in there, mix it with milk, get a little more protein. You might use fats, all depends on basically your, uh, your caloric intake and what you're watching and all that as far as counting calories. So for me, eight ounces of milk was in here. This so would put in there. It recommends to mix between five and six ounces on the jug with one scoop of protein and that gives you 1.5 grams of fat, three carbs, and 25 protein out of one scoop of protein. So that's actually pretty good as far as protein is concerned. Uh, a lot of them, whenever you start getting in that area, they want you to put like two scoops in there to get around anything higher. You might get up to 30 depending on the brand, but again, you know, it all just depends on what protein you bought. The really neat thing about Ghost is they will disclose everything that they have going on and what they put in their product on the back of their thing here, on the back of their label. So you know exactly what you're putting into you and there's not a whole lot of companies out there that do that. And with all the, you know, bad stuff going into us uh, as far as supplements is concerned, basically, you know, it, it's good to know that. You, you want to pay attention to that, definitely. They also claim on the back of here that you can use it in different, um, different ways, of course. There's not a whole lot of proteins that work well baking it into things, cooking it into different things. Basically a lot of whey proteins, they want you to mix it in with milk, water, beverage, whatever the case may be. But this one actually says that you can put it, in, make ice cream out of it, protein out of it, bake goods out of it, just different things that you can actually do with it. Now, I get this question a lot and I'll link it in the card above and put it in the description below about the Aldi protein powder. A lot of people ask me in that video when you should take protein powder, you know, when is it beneficial for you, can you take it at a certain time. Uh, as far as I'm concerned guys and, and you know the training that I've taken as far as uh, personal training classes and stuff like that, protein whenever you actually take it, it doesn't really matter, it stays in your body for a while. Now as far as eating something, uh, meal timing doesn't matter but it can boost your performance in the gym. So if you are eating something that is pro protein or carb, carb, you know, loaded, then you're going to get a little bit of a boost in the gym. So, you know, this one says you can have it for post-workout through the day, before bed, whenever, and you can. You can have protein whenever. It doesn't matter. It's basically just to meet your macronutrient needs. You should definitely not rely on protein. This should be something to bump you up to where you need to meet your, your protein at, or, you know, just to fill in meals if you're bulking. That's how I use protein. That's how you should use protein. It's just a tool to get you to that point that you need to get to. Let's see how this tastes. Like I said, from what I can see so far, it looks like the protein mixed up well. There doesn't look to be any chunks or anything in it. On the side of the cup or anything like that, there's a little bit in there. There's a little bit of debris over here. So, and I mixed it up for a pretty good time. It tastes pretty good. I mean, it's it's a it's got a good flavor to it. It tastes kind of like a, a candy cane, or if you ever had peppermint bark, more or less, it tastes just like that. It still has that that whey taste to it, that residual whey taste, which is fine. You're not gonna get that. You're pretty much never going to get a protein that doesn't have that in it, unless it's an isolate and it's very very smooth. You know, it, it just most of the time you're gonna get that whey flavor, that that taste. But it's it masks it really well. It's really good. It's not it's not bad at all. Yeah, I say. It, it's definitely worth a buy, and like I said, with the other um, the other athletes out there that are sponsored by this by Ghost Protein, or 
goes to the brand. Max Tuning again, Christian Guzman, you know, a few of them. Definitely go and watch them so you can get their discount codes and actually use it whenever you buy the protein if you decide to go with it. But I would definitely, I would give it, you know, like an eight out of 10, maybe a nine out of 10. Um, the peppermint mark, bark is good but maybe I should have tried one of the other ones first. But this is a limited edition one. You guys might not get a hold of it before they actually stop selling it. It's really good. I'd say give it a shot. It wasn't too bad. Um, it was like $30, $40 for the container. So not too bad for 20, 30, 30 servings or so. So 9 out of 10, you know, 8, 9 out of 10. I say 8.5 out of 10. We'll meet right there in the middle. Give it a shot. That's the end of the video, guys. Make sure to like the video if you like the video. Comment down below and subscribe if you are new. Teach their own.